hello guys hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new um viewer on this channel please don't forget to subscribe to that button i'm sure you can um find some other things some other educating stuff on my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make a palazzo a jumpsuit a palazzo jumpsuit and this is a part one the part two of this video is going to come later so what i'm doing here is just taking the length of the of the um of the jumpsuit the length here being from the half length so I removed um, what I want the upper bodies to be, and this is what the lower bodies is going to be. What I have here is 40, so I added one more inch, which is 41. I'm just going to mark the same thing on the other side of the fabric, and I'm going to connect it together. The next thing I'm going to do is to mark my hip measurements and my waist me and my um, crotch measurements. My hip measurements here being 8 inches, and I'm going to um, add a half an inch to it to make it 8.5 inches. And that's what I'm doing right now, 8.5 inches. The crotch measurement is 12 inches in this case because it's a jumpsuit. And I'm going to mark that also and join it together on both sides and let you guys see we are going to try to get our knee measurements our um, knee point measurements so what i'm going to do is basically from my crotch to the length of the dress of the jumpsuit rather i'm going to measure it and i'm going to find the midpoint the length here being 30 inches so i'm going to find the midpoint which is 15 and deduct two from it so that makes it 13 so that means that our um, knee, my knee measurement is going to be 13 inches from the crotch measurement so you mark it and then you join it together the next thing i'm going to do is to find the midpoint of all the lines that i've um joint they have drawn rather i'm sorry that is the waistline the hip line the crotch line the knee line and the um end of the pants so basically what you're going to do is just to measure what you have unfold divide it by two and then mark the midpoint so after i mark the midpoint i'm going to join it together with a straight line to form a straight line from top to bottom and we we'll start uh, taking our measurements from there now let's move on to our horizontal measurement. So for my waist measurement, I'm going to divide my waist measurement divided by four. And exactly what I have is what I'm going to measure here. In this case, I'm using eight inches. That's 32 divided by four. So make it makes it um eight inches. I'm using eight inches. I'm going to divide my hip by four too and mark it on the hip line. Then for the crotch measurement, I'm going to use my tie. My tie divided by two. The tie I'm, I'm working with here is 22 inches. So divided by two is going to give us 11 inches. So I'm going to measure the tie here. and because this uh, this pants is a, is a part this jumpsuit is a palazzo um, pants kind of jumpsuit i'm going to replicate what i have on the crotch measurements to the knee measurement and to the tip of the leg so now that we've got seen all our um all our horizontal measurement that is your hip measurement is in place your waist measurement is in place so what we are going to do is to connect all the dots together make sure that you connect from your from your waist to your hip to your crotch and all the way to the lower part and then on the other side you're going to make sure that we do the same thing also then from the just at the tip of the cross just make a little curve because the body is not straight in that part of course just make a little curve and then you connect so to, to get your curve you have to use the one by one um, rule in um, inches rule that is one inches in one inches up and that's it then you connect all the lines and that's that's it Now, this is what the front um, part looks like. This is what it looks like. So, it looks so neat and perfect already. So, now, the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, make sure that I secure all the edges with pins so that it won't um, de it won't disrupt the shape when I move when I try to move it to somewhere else. Because I'm still going to, we are still going to use this front to call the back. So, I'm just securing it with, shape, uh, with pins. I'm just securing the shape with pins all around to make sure that everything is in place. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is to make sure is to fold um, my fabric for the back part in preparation for the back part. The back part folding should be two inches wider than the front part folding because we are going to add all our allowances to the back part. So now what I'm doing is just measuring my um I, f I first place the fabric on it to make sure that everything matches. Then I'm going to measure the extra two inch on this side. I'm going to measure it all the way to the bottom and then I'm going to connect it together before I start cutting.
once i'm done cutting your back pattern should look like this so now let's move to the upper part so for the upper part the upper part is a bustier cut with yoke and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure i'm going to count how many inches i want for the yoke the yoke here is just five inches so and the half length is 15 inches plus one inch so in allowance that's 16. so here is me removing the five inches from the yoke above so i'm removing my five inches from the total length of the upper part and i'm going to connect connect the lines together so that it makes it easier for us to um for us to measure the lines so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to measure my bust point which is your bust point to measure your bust point from the shoulder i'm going to measure my bust point then i'm going to measure my under bust most times the under bust is always three inches but please make sure to measure and then i'm going to insert my bust to and my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two that means if your nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches that means you're going to measure four so i'm going to insert my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two now from that nipple to nipple measurements for a slim person you can you can take as much take out as much as 0 0.75 inches away from the upper part and from the under bust so yeah for me because this measurement is for, a, is, for, is for a slim person i'm going to take out 0 0.75 inches so that means that for the um, upper bust i'm going to use 3.25 inches and for the lower bust i'm going to use 3.25 inches also and i'm going to connect everything together So this is what your your um center front should look like can you see how the, uh, the bust is the most pointed part and the upper part is contoured the under bust is also contoured now the next thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabric i'm trying to cut the sides of the front of the upper bust of the upper part <laughs> i said upper bust of the upper part basically most typically what i use most times is eight inches for um slimmer people and 10 inches for people that are on the um on the bigger side so that's basically what i use to be on the safer side i like my fabric to be extra than for it to not be enough all i'm just going to do on this fabric is just to cut just like this cut it straight cut the upper part straight and then use the um, center front to to be to serve as a guide yeah to serve as a guide to cut the sides because i mean that's what you're going to join it together with to to, to serve as a guide i'm just going to trim it out carefully so that i have the same thing and i'm going, going to open the sides because we're going to join it separately so i'm going to open the sides and there we go there we have it so let's move to the back the back is just very and really simple but for the back i want the back to be lower than the front part i want the yoke of the back to be longer than the yoke of the, uh, um, the, yoke, the yoke of the back to be lower than the yoke of the front so i'm just i'm going to take out seven inches from the back and i'm going to take that all all the way around and join it together the next thing i want to do is to take out my shoulder measurement remember that this back has a zip so you have to add, you have to factor in your zip, your zip, your zipper measurements into the shoulder measurements. For example, if your shoulder measurement divided by two is seven point five, then you have to add an extra inch to make it eight point five for the shoulder measurements. And after you've done that, you are going to take our armhole measurements. Remember that we are taking out seven inches for the yoke, and armhole measurement is eight inches. So that means I'm taking just one inch out. And after I've done that, I'm going to take out my bust measurements. Out the, the, the bust here is bust divided by four plus three inches that is two inches for sewing allowance and one inch for zipper allowance for the waist measurement the waist measurement is going to be the waist divided by four plus two inches sewing allowance one inch for that and one extra inch for the zipper allowance that makes it four inches all together so you're going to connect the the waist you're going to connect the waist up to the hip and then we move on from there done that i'm just going to um go ahead and secure my fabric with pins because this fabric is very very um silky kind of it's a crepe it's a crepe material but it's silky in, in a way so i'm going to secure the fabric with pins because i don't want this fabric to move and that's also because i'm going to use this fabric to cut out the lining so now for the lining of this um jumpsuit i'm going to be using the same fabric to turn it to, to line it turn it out whichever one you try where you want to put it and that's because i have extra fabric and there's nothing i'm going to use it to do so as you, I, I can just as well um, use it to line it but if you don't have extra fabric and you're looking for what and you need to line because you're actually going to line it and you need to line it to make it look uh, more bulky and more fitted on the body you can just buy lining or you can buy extra crepe i would, I would always advise that you use extra crepe to line crepe because it makes it more durable i mean it's, it's the same fabric so it sticks together a lot as opposed to using a rubber made lining or doll face or the likes which do not work well with crepe so i'm going to use the crepe to line it i'm going to do the same thing for the front part also